Hello, this is Angela, so Angelic Threads. I've just got a new overlocker and it's the Brother 3034 DWT. I think Brother sewing machines are, are, are really good. Um, I'm very fond of them. They're very reliable, very long lasting, um, and, and they look good to be honest. This I know a lot of people are daunted by overlockers, but don't be because this is a really simple one to use. It's got four threads. It's normal when you're overlocking to use four threads. If you wanted to do a narrow rolled hem, which I'll show you at another stage, you remove one of the threads and it does a three thread narrow rolled hem, which is, is beautiful. So, the machine is already set for you. This is where all the tension discs are. And they're all set at various numbers. These are the factory settings. So that one's set at four, that one's set at four, that one's set between three and four, and that one's set at three. It's a jolly good idea to take a photograph of these settings and to keep it with your manual because there are occasions when you do need to change your settings or it might just get, one just might get knocked and your overlocking is not right. It does do a really nice overlocked edge, so you need to maintain that. The overlocker has something called differential feed. Now, differential feed probably just sounds like gobbledygook to you, but it refers to the feed dogs underneath the presser foot and the speed which they go at. There is an adjuster for the differential speed here. And it's normally set at one. All this is explained in your manual, so don't worry. Sometimes when you're sewing an, a really very stretchy fabric, you might need to raise or lower the differential feed to make the feed dogs move at a different speed um, so that you, your fabric is being pushed through at the same speed and it doesn't gather up, which you don't want. When you're threading your machine, always make sure that the presser foot is raised because that releases the tension and makes it easier to thread and make sure that the tension is correct. Now let's just turn it off. This is a thread catcher, which is really useful. It says getting a mess on your carpet. Um, it just collects all the, the loose ends of thread. To access the threading mechanism, just slide open this bit and it looks complicated, but it isn't. Each thread, starting with this one, number four, goes all the way through. It's blue. So you follow the blue lines and put the, the thread through everything that's marked blue until it comes out the other end. And you do the same for each one. That's the green one, so you follow the green lines. These are the lower looper threads, so these are at the bottom. These are the upper looper threads and they will eventually come through your needles. You'll notice that there are two needles. To change the needles, you get a special little tool which you use to unlock them there. The machine also has storage for your tweezers, which you'll need for threading, a spare pack of needles, and your tool for changing your needles. There's also um, a lever here that you will use to remove part of it when you're coming to do a, a three thread narrow overlocked hem, but we'll discuss that another time. But don't, please don't get confused. Um, and worried because it, honestly once you get used to it they're brilliant so let's just move it up a bit it's a good idea when you first get your machine to do a test piece and to keep it with a manual so press the foot raise fabric under press the foot down I like to turn it on at that stage so we'll just run a little overlocked edge to this piece of fabric just 
to run it straight off the edge it's not like a sewing machine where you have to stop and wait and you can also snip the thread by just going back which you can cut that off after so that I'm now going to keep with my manual to refer to when I need to change the settings and I'm also going to put with my manual a photograph of all the factory settings these and this one there are not so important because they always go back to the same one but this one I feel it's really important to have a reference chart because they, they can go out of sync so what else comes with your overlocker you have um, obviously everything that's here this is a special table that only comes with this particular machine it comes off really easily so that you can sew um, cuffs and sleeves and narrow things so that just pulls off that's a really nice added feature to this machine if you're using some sort of thread which ravels easily then you might want to use thread nets you get four of these and they just go over the thread to keep it nice and neat while you're using it so you get four thread nets you might at some stage need thread spool caps uh, some threads if they've got a narrow opening here you want them to hold in place so you've got four of those as well you've got your tweezers to help you to thread it with you've got a little a little brush to help you to clean it and you also have some extra feet now I actually love using the accessories on the machine this is a blind hem foot I bet you didn't know you could do a blind hem on an overlocker did you this is fantastic I have used it I will show you how to do it um, it not only sews a, a blind hem but it overlocks the edge at the same time so you can do an overlock blind hem in one easy process and how great is that love it you also get um, a gathering foot which is self-explanatory it, it gathers uh, one part of your fabric as you're sewing it which again I will demonstrate another time and you get a pearl and sequin foot which again is to doing an overlocked edge with pearls and sequins on so this is a really really good machine oh you also get the tweezers and, and everything else that you need it's from jcots.co.uk i'm angela i'm the blogger i also have my own blog on www.soangelicthreads.co.uk which i hope you will follow I will be doing um, a blog post on this machine and I will be showing you how to use it practically and how to use the different feet. So meanwhile, if you are interested in an overlocker, do ring Jacobs, have a, have a talk with them because they really are the specialists in, in machines of, of all descriptions. Try one out if you possibly can because there are lots of different makes that uh, Jacob sell. Not this brother, they sell Juki, which was used on the Great British Sewing Bee. They're a fantastic one. They do air threading ones, which means that the air just pushes the threads through. They're a bit more expensive. Um, I, I, I must admit, I am very fond of this machine. This is the, the upgrade of the previous one I had, and I was really happy with that. In fact, I did wear it out. So that's it for now that's just showing you what the overlocker is uh, take your photographs do a test piece put everything in your manual and put everything in a folder so that you've got it all to refer to don't forget to take your photograph really you know if, if you don't do anything else take a photograph print it if you can um, if not if you're good at drawing just draw exactly where these lines are you will be thankful for it at some stage, I promise you. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to do another one for you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.